thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. It's your favorite. Come, sit with me, like in the old times. Good, solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. The world is breaking around us. While I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. 
Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. before. painted, you fucking plant. Me, I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face! This house is a mess! You're still a lady of the house, remember? She's been at it again. Earlier in the day, I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough to know what really gets to me. I just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is, when I confronted her about it, she claimed she hadn't written any of them. Like I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus! Does she really hate me that much? Or, or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm terribly sorry for your inconvenience, but we've seen no fluctuations of power in your area and see no issues in the neighborhood. And since you didn't allow entry to our electricians, uh, we cannot help you in any way.
Cleaning this house is a nightmare. We don't even use the fireplace that often, and ash is everywhere. Damn ash! Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous. I can put it between the books. You'll never find it there. I can't escape too.
Hello? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes, speak. What? what? What fire? fire. Oh, God. God. Is she... she... Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I would never. I will finish it. I am to be honest. I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think sixteen concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mention do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. locked doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family? <laughs> this is childish.
The things she could do with the piano. In the right hands, it's the most powerful instrument. It can break any man. I need the fire. The lamps are so... This was the only instrument she could play. The only music this family could accept. Merciless light is still light. Are you insane with those candles? You will burn. We have electricity.
This is who I am. Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it! All right, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well. But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh, God, please. Not this again. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work, that's all. She named it Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound. Protect her! Ну, 
She's always tired. I want to play. Where is she?